everyone, it's Edouard and today we are back for a new video, a new episode of one of my favorite series, the Random Plugin Challenge. I encourage you to take this challenge, use hashtag Random Plugin Challenge on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and I will repost the best ones. So the principle is very simple. You have to make a song using five random plugins. Yes, I changed the rules slightly, but these are the official rules. If you want to take the challenge, follow these rules. Okay. You have to go to pluginsforfree.com, click on random five times, make sure to subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet, and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let's click on random and first time. SK Crooner. A vocal synth. Yay! <laughs> Based on the 8-bit human voice patch from the Casio SK-1. Wow, this must be great. 2.6 out of 5. Um, people seem to love the sounds. Okay, ain't a bad thing, but the interface must be reworked. I don't care about the interface. I'm a producer, I'm a pro producer. I will make this work. Next one, Mr. Tramp. Pretty good ratings for this one. Okay, people seem to love this. Let's download it. Number three, drums acoustic. Pretty okay ratings. Doesn't work in LMMS. I know you guys want me to uh, make an LMMS video. Uh, I, I should do it, right? I will be lost. It's gonna be fun. Next one, the th shepherd. Look at this dude. <laughs> Just enough control over sound. I don't need much control. Sounds okay, sounds nothing even close to a human whistle. Thank you for the whistler. We need a last one. FM era. Also pretty good ratings. Noise. So in case some of you guys don't know how to install a plugin, these are simple DLL files. How do you install it? So press F6 to enable channel rack, then insert more plugins. Next click on manage plugins, search for new ones. Here you can see I've already set my custom folder music vst you can just press plus if you want to add one i'm going to extract everything into this one now that we extracted everything click on find more plugins it's going to scan for this exact folder it will show you the new plugins okay now i checked all the plugins let's see how they sound so we have the shepherd this is pretty nice. I cannot play chords with this one. Maybe I can play a bass. Sounds like a sinus. Let's see if it's better to use it as a melody. Oh, this one is dreamy. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. This one sounds a bit cheaper. This is for the chords, definitely. And this one. Wow, I really like this one. Okay, let's create some chords. Hey Mozart, what do you think of this instrument, Mozart? Do you like it? Nope. I will need you for the melody. Well, thank you. Let's add some groove. Okay, now let's move on to another layer. Let's try this one for the chords. Okay, the release is a bit too long on this one. We and the attack is also too long. So let's try to make this shorter. Still too long. Damn. Why is it so long? Why are you so long? How can I make this shorter? Maybe the decay is too long as well and sustain, let's see. Oh, there is some kind of delay here. So I think it's because of the delay here. Um, maybe feedback is too long here. Let's see. Oh, that was the issue. For some reason it made the 
release longer when I set this to the left. Now let's make a simple beat. Hopefully with this drums <laughs> acoustic VST we can do something. Oh, we have a set of, of drums here. So we have some kits. This is the kick. Okay, let's try. Let's try some kicks. It's pretty acoustic. I can only change the pan and the level. <laughs> this is just <laughs> very limiting. This one. <sighs> oh, the snare, the snare. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I cannot do sidechain, but what I can do is create some notes that are uh, quieter than other notes. And this is going to be like a, a manual sidechain. I'm a manual sidechain user. So I've cloned everything. Now let's make every time the kick is hitting, I want to make the volume go down. So every time we have first note here, Now let's make the bass with the Shepherd VST. Yes. It doesn't take into account the velocity, so I'm going to do something and I'm going to remove notes and hopefully it's gonna work. It's gonna do the trick. Noise sidechain. The notes are better when they are longer here, so... Now let's make a nice melody and for this I'm going to ask my cat Mozart to help me make the melody and if you have a cat in your house try to use the cat it's free Record notes and automation let's go Thank you Mozart Best, <laughs> best melody ever. I have now the noise cat melody. I'm going to make it a bit better because it's good, it's great. Don't get me wrong, but it can sound even more epic. <laughs> Sounds like a cat, honestly. <laughs> A few moments later. And now I'm going to copy and paste the melody, the cat melody juicer, to another instrument. This can make the, the, all, the whole thing more epic sometimes. Sometimes it can. Sometimes it can completely break things. I just need one more thing. It's hi-hats. And now it's time to listen to the final result. And we forgot to pray to a first studio. God, my bad. Write it down in the comments down below if you noticed I forgot to pray to a first studio. God, my bad. A first studio. God, please don't crash now. So that's it for today guys, the Fruity Loops project and the list of the plugins I've used are available at the link in the description below. Let me know if you think this is a pass or a fail in the comments down below. Try the challenge by yourself and remember volumes and balance is very important. If you cannot do anything more, you, you have to be creative using only balance, volume and choose the purpose of each instrument wisely. Don't use a drum for the melody for example. All right, guys, best of luck for the random deucer challenge. See you in the next video. And of course, don't forget to pray to a fun studio. God.